We rounded up nine of the best flagship lawnmowers from Ego, Milwaukee, Greenworks, Echo, Ryobi, Toro, Works, Cat, and Hart. And today, we're gonna compare them all in one video. We'll share all the testing data and specs in charts near the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's take a look at each of the competitors, starting with Ego's Select Cut XP self-propelled lawnmower with Speed IQ. The Ego Select Cut mower became an instant favorite of ours with its stack blade system. We tested the first model on a sod farm and it gave us solid performance to go along with its excellent cut quality. Now it's taking the next evolution by adding Speed IQ. Speed IQ is a drive system that automatically adjusts the self-propelled speed to the pace that you're walking. Unlike Toro's personal pace system, this doesn't use a spring-loaded handle that moves in and out. In fact, there's no significant physical movement in the handle at all. Yet Ego's sensor perfectly adjusted in our tests. Is it magic? No, but there's some crazy good engineering at play. Next up, the Milwaukee M18 Fuel 21-inch self-propelled lawnmower. Boasting a monstrous 10 foot-pounds of torque, and that equates to more than a 200cc gas engine, Milwaukee's M18 Fuel self-propelled lawnmower is the strongest battery-powered walk-behind we've tested so far. You can start it up while sitting right on top of a tall clump of uncut grass. Not too many mowers, even gas ones, can do the same. Using a pair of 12 amp hour batteries, it can run up to an hour in light conditions, and we ran it for more than 40 minutes while taking off four to six inches of growth. If there's a downside, it's that the drive bar in the middle of the handle introduces some thumb fatigue, but we were able to adjust our grip to deal with it. This mower is also built tough, and it comes designed to handle professional use while offering the convenience of a single point height adjustment and vertical storage. Here we have the Greenworks 25 inch dual blade self-propelled lawnmower. If you've seen the commercial 82 volt version of this mower, you can't help but notice the resemblance. And if you're familiar with the latest generation of their 21 inch 60 volt self-propelled mower, well, it borrows several things from that design as well. This dual blade mower has excellent power and a turbo mode for the rough patches. The dual active battery ports mean that the mower automatically switches to the next battery when you use up the first. With two four amp hour 60 volt batteries, we were able to cut with the mower set to three inches for an hour and nine minutes. This is a massive improvement over previous Greenworks models. Next up is the Echo 21 inch self-propelled model. This is their 56 volt product from their E-Force line. Echo phased out its 58 volt battery lineup in favor of the completely new 56 volt E-Force system. And unfortunately, the old batteries are not compatible with the new tools. On the bright side, it resulted in some new mowers like the self-propelled DLM 2100 SP. For most maintenance cuts, you don't have to make any adjustments with this mower as you go. However, if you hit thick patches over septic tanks or you're a few days late on your weekly cut, there's a turbo button that lifts the RPMs to help you get through it. And yes, it does look a little familiar to that green model we just talked about. Overall, you get a solid design that presses all the right buttons and makes for a well-rounded machine. It doesn't challenge the power levels of the top performers, but it doesn't have their price tags either. Ryobi has a fleet of lawnmowers, but we selected this one, the 40-volt Crosscut with all-wheel drive. Ryobi crushed it with the development of the 40-volt HP brushless crosscut self-propelled lawnmower, making huge strides over its previous generation of mowers. Matching up very well against Ego's Select Cut XP, it's a stack blade design that offers excellent power and cut quality. Where it has a clear advantage over its competitors is when using the side discharge. This mower distributes clippings far better than other battery-powered lawnmowers we've tested. This is the Toro 60-volt Strike. It's got an innovative feature that gives it its name. Toro is introducing probably the most interesting battery-powered lawnmower feature for 2023. Using its 60-volt battery platform for power, there are also gas models, it's making the jump to a stacked two-blade system similar to Ego's Select Cut and Ryobi's Crosscut models. What Toro is doing differently is adding a built-in striping feature, and that leaves your lawn not just with a clean cut, but also a professional-looking finish. Next up is a newcomer to our arsenal of brands, and it's CAC with its DG671. We know the Caterpillar brand from their worldwide construction and mining equipment. Now Positech has licensed the cat name to manufacture a pretty impressive line of 60 volt outdoor power equipment products. Although it's only the first generation, we're impressed by what these cat tools offer. Starting with the 21 inch steel deck, it's built with durability in mind. The mower also utilizes smart technology called Torque Logic, which automatically adjusts the torque as it detects taller and thicker grass. The Works Nitro 80 volt 21 inch self-propelled mower includes some features that really set it apart from the competition. 
Just to be clear, this mower also comes from Positech and shares many features with the CAT 60 volt mower, like the awesome mulch bagging mode lever and the steel deck. It also uses the same smart technology, which adjusts torque to deal with tougher grasses, this time calling it auto IntelliCut. Where it differs significantly is in the battery design. The Works Nitro 80 volt uses a base camp, portable transferable power source and four port charger. This powers the mower with four 20 volt batteries, but it's also removable and charges all four batteries at once. The base camp also works with other Works 80 volt tools like their 80 volt backpack blower. And finally, we wrap up our field of competitors with one of the most compelling value options in the Hart 40 volt supercharge. Hart Tools claims the performance level is in the 160 cc gas engine class, and we'd concur. Two active battery ports give you enough runtime to do a maintenance cut on up to three quarters of an acre with the two six amp hour batteries that come in the kit. Compared to the mowers we've used from Hart before, this is by far the most capable for those of you holding out for a mid-range gas replacement. Now that we've laid out our list for who made our top picks, let's talk about how we tested and what we look for in a quality mower. Brushless motors actually make testing power much more challenging because of their ability to sense and adjust to the load that the blade is experiencing. A good mower can handle some overgrown grass without stalling, so we test it with St. Augustine grass trimmed to a dense four and a half inches in height and ensure the mower can take off a couple of inches. Cut quality matters as well. So when testing, we also look for grass blades that weren't cut and indications that there might not have been enough lift to clip all of the blades at the same level. The more effectively a battery powered lawnmower can reclaim overgrowth and the ease with which it can effectively cut tall grass down to height, the more working power it has. And that means you aren't wasting valuable battery power straining an underpowered motor. How much runtime an electric lawnmower has is important, but it's only part of the equation. The best information we can give you is how much area you can expect to cut on a single charge. Most manufacturers will include these numbers with every mower they sell, so be sure you get the right model and pair it with the right batteries to get the exact type of runtime you need. We consider the quality of the build based on the materials and how well the mower is put together. We're looking for solid components that will last well beyond the warranty period, a rigid frame, and ample protection for the electrical components, the cables, and the batteries. For our team of experts, value is much more than just price. It's about what you get for what you pay. An expensive model may well be the best value choice in a battery powered mower if it's performing far enough ahead of the budget brands to justify it. Now you've seen our picks and all the factors that led us to choose them. But before we crown a winner, and let me just spoil it right now, there's gonna be two, we're gonna to get to everyone's favorite part of the head-to-head -head videos, the charts. We've compiled all the manufacturer specs as well as our testing data into a series of charts. So feel free to pause and take a screenshot if you'd like to save the info for later. And then there were two. On my left, our best residential lawnmower pick, the Ego LM2160 SP self-propelled lawnmower. And on my right, our best commercial pick, the Milwaukee M18 Fuel 21 inch self-propelled lawnmower. Ego has been making battery powered lawnmowers for the residential market since 2014. In fact, this Ego mower is their sixth generation mower. To be honest, I'm not really sure. They have over 13 models on their website right now. In any case, their combination of features and power and their consistently good cut quality makes this our top pick for discerning consumers. 
On the commercial side, while you might expect companies like Steel and Echo to dominate, neither has really impressed us with a true commercial solution in the same way that the Milwaukee M18 fuel lawnmower has. It has a ridiculous amount of power that lets it perform better than even many gas models we've tested. And that's not a claim we can make with many other battery-powered mowers. On top of that, Milwaukee just seems to have done its homework. While they have some more work to do before they convince commercial lawn crews to ditch all of their gas-powered tools in favor of battery, this mower certainly gives them a solid start. Well, there you have it. Ego takes the crown as our best residential mower, and Milwaukee sits on top of the commercial mower market. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, and consider subscribing if you want even more tool reviews and head-to-head -head comparisons. Looking to build a full suite of outdoor power equipment? Check out our best string trimmer video, where we tested 10 string trimmers, including some brands that were also tested in this video. Thanks for watching.